Hey guys, just a quick tip in Logic Pro X on how to remove silence very quickly. So the way that you do this is you go to View, Show Toolbar if it's not already shown, and then Remove Silence. The shortcut that I'd recommend memorizing is Control X. That's a very quick way to do this. So it's gonna bring up this menu right here. The most important thing is the threshold right here. That's going to remove everything. It'll remove anything that's below the threshold and it'll save everything that's above it. So you can see like this waveform right here, it's not deleting any of it. Same with this, it's deleting like this little silent part right here. It looks pretty good. So if you start messing with the threshold, so if I start moving it up, it's gonna remove like little moments of silence in here, which you might not want. And if you go too low, it'll just delete everything. Make sure that you get it about right. Usually it does a pretty good job of finding it at first. So right there looks about good and then hit okay. And there you go. And it removed the silence on that. So that's a very quick way to remove silence. And then a little bonus, if you highlight everything here and then hit option and then bracket, it actually brings everything together. So obviously that's not gonna work for like drums or vocals or anything like that, but this is a dialogue, this is a voiceover recording. So if you wanna remove the silence and get it all sounding nice and smooth together, that's the way to do that. Again, that's Control X to load, remove silence, and then Option Bracket to bring them all together. So hope that helped you guys out. If this video helped you out, please hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna be trying to post more of these short, quick tips in Logic Pro X. I did just recently post a video of 50 different key commands and shortcuts that you can use to speed up your logic workflow. Some of these have really helped just overall help my mixing and tracking and editing in Logic Pro X. Definitely worth checking that video out if you haven't already. You can click my playlist to watch the other videos in the Logic Pro series and also check out my playlist of how to do live backing tracks for your band, including how to program lighting, backing tracks, video projection, MIDI, and stuff like that all in Logic Pro X. So check out that playlist as well. Hope this helped you guys out. I'll see you guys next time.